<coughs> hey, uh, it's me again. Um, making a video of I uh, of me playing this. This is more or less a review of Raptor Call of the Sh Call of the Shadows. It's a really, really fun game in retrospect because of the sheer replayability of everything and the amount of stuff that you can purchase to make your to make your aircraft as pretty much as kick-ass as possible. Now to start this off, the difficulty settings. These are really, really good. They're easy to get to know, and well, you know them already. Training mode is really, really easy. If you're new to the game, you can play that to make it to make it so you, 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 that you can get used to the game. Rookie has a little bit more difficulty to it. There's more enemies. Veteran is the difficulty I mostly play on because it's like normal. Elite is super hard. There's a lot of enemies and you take damage like fragile. Like if you're a fragile piece of crap. So, basically the supply room is quite, um, quite nifty because you can buy a lot of stuff. For the sake of this demo, you can't exactly do that in the game, really. You can, but you have to play a lot. But Bravo Sector, Tango Sector, and Outer Regions, these are different places that you can go to. And Bravo Sector, basically, it's like uh, places in Africa where um, you're flying over jungles and stuff. Tango Sector is more urban areas, and Outer Regions is more or less places like the moon. I'm going to demonstrate one wave of Bravo Sector. Now the music in this game is really cool. As you can see, the interface is quite... Well, actually, you can't see the interface, so I won't go there. I just pwned these guys with a bomb. That big flash is a mega bomb, so... Now, as you see, I'm firing uh, micro-missiles and big missiles. Big missiles can take da can take that take out enemies quite quickly. But if you want something to take out some enemies even quicker, those are ground fire missiles. Those are bombs, so they hit everything. That is uh, my power disruptor. And as you see, those bullets are hitting me. They're hitting my pla uh, they're hitting my shield, so I'm not taking any damage from them. Keep in mind, I am cheating in here just to show the game because it's not interesting really when you die. It just shows a weird cutscene, but uh, I don't want to die because I can I've beaten the game on Elite, so I don't really care. Now I'm going to show the plasma ray. Now this kicks ass. And I show, these are the twin lasers, so if you're, uh, if you're exactly familiar with Shoot the Whoop, you'll obviously love this game. Here's my other one laser, which can't pwn a lot of enemies with for some reason. Okay. I unexpectedly pwned someone. Yes, the game did just flicker. It's not camera, it's the game. So, uh... I'm not sure when this game was released exactly, but I'm pretty sure you can get this free for download now. Uh, I'm gonna go kamikaze on these things. I'm not gonna die, so I might as well just... There we go. Time to clone these things. These are dumb fire missiles. They come out of the side of the aircraft and just fly it things. Yeah. I had to restart the recording, recording there. Whoa.
Now these are the auto fire, auto track fire mini guns. Basically, as you can see, the normal bullets are coming out of my ship already. Um, my other ones actually shoot at uh, enemies that are across the screen. So otherwise, I can't hit unless I don't have to be in front of enemies when I use these. So so that's also something that can help you in the game. In the beginning of the game, um, when you get to the end of certain waves, there's usually only one enemy that you have to really worry about. And, um, this is the this is a nice fun weapon to use. It's a laser that usually just, that just fires at random enemies. It usually kills in one shot. Every enemy that you kill, and these are bonuses, if you kill it, the enemies that you kill, usually you get money off of, and use the money to buy the upgrades that I have, so you can become as kick-ass as I am right now. You can use the missile pod, and the missile pod fires twice as many missiles in the, in the smaller amount of time than the normal, uh, air okay, now this is the boss. Now I'm going to switch my payload so that I can what the fuck pwn it. That won't do anything. This we have that one level of, uh, of Bravo Sector. And each wave, the music changes. But now I'm going to go to... Um, Tango Sector. First... Yeah, as you can see, this is more of an urban area than uh, the last place. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, I just pwned them with a Mega Bomb. And there are different enemies in each place as well, so... You never have to fight the same... usually the same enemies in every wave, so... Sometimes you do, but uh, you'll encounter more enemies. Uh, so, Outer Regions. Wave 1. The explosions are just satisfying as hell. Pretty much what the fuck pwned everything. Now we have those uh, side strafing enemies. Now, as you don't, as you probably, as I already probably mentioned, er early on in the game, there you usually only have to fight one boss at a time. But as you be as you come into uh, later sections, like halfway through Tango Sector, for example, you will find yourself fighting two bosses in the same wave. Like what I'm going to be doing, what I'm going to be doing right now after I destroy all these big flying things. If the game would stop doing that, if the path that I just flew over, that I was just on, is there. Later in the game, there are going to be turrets, laser turrets, coming out of those. And you'll see enemies firing lasers in this wave pretty soon. I just destroyed a tank that would have done that anyway, but, uh... If I see another tank, I probably won't blow him up this time. Found. I really love doing that. Okay, as I mentioned before, here's one of the bosses that'll uh this is a small mini boss, which still kicks a lot of ass, so don't be in the way of them like I was just there. And yes, there is another boss at the end of this, but uh I don't want this to go over ten minutes, so I won't do that. So yeah, this has been Raptor Call of the Shadows, and I'm out.